Today's letter is H, and the word is haikyo. It's the Japanese word for abandoned places, abandoned buildings, ruins, etc. And today we're going to check out some abandoned hotels along the river in the Kinugawa Onsen Resort area. I've never been to these places, but they've been on my list for a long time. There's like a bunch of hotels all along the riverside that are all abandoned. Don't know how easy it's going to be to get into, but let's go have a look. When exploring abandoned places, I won't climb up, climb over, or break anything to get in. If there's an open door, I'll go in, and if not, I'll just have a look from the outside. At the end of the day, entering abandoned places can range anywhere from not an issue to highly illegal. So this is kind of just for my own conscience, but I think it also helps me argue my way out if I get caught. Another shame, another locked door. There was a grand piano in there. 
would have been so cool. The fear of looking in one of these windows and someone sitting in there looking out at me is very real. Also, there's a lot of poop up here. I don't think many animals would come up to the 12th floor or so of a hotel. So, monkeys? Arisa found a little door that was open. We've been exploring the outside for ages and now we're in. Wow. We made it to the room with the grand piano. That's so cool. And I think from here we have access to the whole hotel. Let's see what else we can see. So I think that might have proven my theory about the monkeys because there's signs in the room saying that if you open the window, monkeys might come in. Of course, that was a long time ago, so I don't think there's still monkeys in the area these days. I especially don't want to encounter a monkey in an abandoned hotel.
is literally pitch black down here. If the phone light turns off for whatever reason, it might poop. Willkommen. So, what to say about that place? One of the most incredible explores I've ever done. It's in perfect condition, like, okay, there's some weather damage and poop everywhere, but the rooms are pristine. Like, I didn't want to walk on the tatami because it looked, you could just take it home, but don't. In the storage rooms, in the kitchen, there was hundreds, thousands of plates, bowls and things, all clean, nothing broken, there was no graffiti in the whole place, no broken windows. It was one of the best examples of an untouched piece of urban decay. And I kind of didn't want to share this with people because it might inspire them to go there and then break everything. But that's why I didn't show how we got in. I think if you know this area and you know where it is, you can find it, you can make an effort. But if you don't know where it is, I'm not going to tell the name of the place either. And uh, yeah, sorry, that's just how I am. Yeah, no, that was, that was absolutely, that was amazing. <laughs> that was an amazing place. Um, I think that'll do it. This is, this video was that, so. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.